Hi, good morning. I'm Ray, and this is another segment in my garden with uh, God's creations. And this morning, I'm going to share with you with three different flowers that's growing here in the early spring, last of March. The one that we're looking at right here is a Spirea punifolia. It's called Spirea bridal wreath, Spirea bridal veil, Spirea. It's a deciduous shrub. It's hardy in zone five to nine. Uh, originally, it's a native of the Far East. I have two different varieties in this particular Spirea. Uh, as the camera uh, comes in closer on this one here, they are groups of flowers, but not very, not very tight in a circle. But if we scan down just a few degrees here we can see another one you see how tight and round these are basically the flowers look a lot a lot alike but these seem to be single here and the other ones that you just look are little double things uh, and I'm, I think one of these is garland spirea I'm not sure but it's a little bit more compact there's a third uh, spirea that I understand that's uh, brum alda spirea and it's small pink flowers it is not as hardy and grows like this it is more compact I grow it as well uh, but uh, but these once you get them started they're they're carefree they bloom early here in March and uh, they're pretty green flowing uh, leaf patterns all the rest of the year and they're just very attractive I have a brother who has planted a whole row of these things down his fence and they're gorgeous for just a few weeks here in the early spring. Another flower I want to share with you this morning is a Lady Banks rose. So if we'll just move over a little bit. The Lady Banks rose is a thornless climber. This particular one was hybridized in 1824. The flowers are really small, yellow, grows in little clusters. It's a very progressive runner, so if you don't want it to get out of hand, you have to do some trimming. It only blooms once, early spring, and as you will notice here, some blooms have been open for two or three weeks, and yet there's a lot of uh, pods uh, blooms that are going to be blooming for the next couple of weeks. This also is from the Far East, China seemingly, and there's a white Banks rose that is native to China, and they say this was hybridized out of it. So I'm not sure of that. And it is single white. Again, like the Spirea, it's beautiful at this time of the year for a couple of weeks, and then it the blooms are gone and they will not bloom again and uh, it, it is pretty drought hardy I understand the largest one growing in the world is in uh, Arizona it was sent to someone back in the 1800s and it is uh, I think I read it's 12 feet in circumference the root base of it and uh, covers a wide area of that that home place. The Lady Banks Thornless Rose. One other plant I want to share with you that is spring in, blooming in the early spring is a red honeysuckle. So we're going to move back again. And here trailing on this old swing set is the red honeysuckle. I'm not sure, but this may be the major wheeler honeysuckle. Honeysuckles is in the Lonoxera family, and it will bloom most of the summer with these red bloom pods. Uh, there is a, a 
red, pinkish, native uh, honeysuckle. Now, I don't know whether this is the, red, the native one or this is the hybrid major wheeler. This goes by several different names as well. Coral honeysuckle, trumpet honeysuckle, woodbine honeysuckle. They are native to the U.S. Here it's an evergreen. Uh, it keeps its leaves all through the, the winter months. As soon as it turned warm if several weeks ago, it began running and you can see how long those running scapes is up above. And of course, as soon as they get old enough, they will begin blooming as well. This is a, uh, an attractive, it attracts hummingbirds and butterflies and all the, all the pollinating bees of all sorts and it's an attractive flower that blooms all summer. I have other things growing on this old swing. Uh, I see the, uh, the perennial uh, morning glory is beginning to come up at the root and uh, I have a couple of other things that should bloom later on in the year and I'll record them as well. Isn't God, isn't God wonderful? He's made all these beautiful flowers for our enjoyment, but also for the benefit of all his smaller creatures, hummingbirds, butterflies, pollinators of every kind. Birds love their berries and places for nesting. His provisions are endless. The refrain of the song, the steadfast love of the Lord says, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Your mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning new every morning great is your faithfulness O lord great is your faithfulness god bless and have a great day thank you